Hello everyone, this is uh, Shubhranil and today I came up with a lesson in, in AngularJS. So today I am going to show you how to sort <coughs> a list of data <coughs> in ascending and descending order. Okay, And also uh, sort the data in ascending and descending order based on a particular field of, uh, of an array, of a, the, the array of JSON data. So I am going to use the JSON, JSON data and uh, let, uh, let me show you what I am exactly going to see. <coughs> so here are three fields. Uh, one first field is the name, the second field is the country and the third field is the age. <coughs> so uh, as you can see these uh, data are all related to uh, the game cricket. And it is a very popular game and these are the, some renowned players of uh, different countries. So when I select name, so it is automatically, since the first one is selected, ascending is selected, it will be automatically sorted in ascending order of name. So you can see first D, then J, then K, then R, then S. Okay, so when I sort by country, so, so it is uh, the country, it is sorted in order of country. That is A, first I, then I, then S, S, O, then S, R, then W. And if I sort uh, in order of name in the age so you can see 37 38 39 40 41 so in the same way when i select the descending see if the, if the age it means sorted in descending order okay so when you select the country the country is selected in descending order and when you select name the name is sitting selected in descending order so you can also change here also like this okay so i'm going to uh, write on the code uh, of this program and this is my program I'm going to write this program in sublime text and the basic uh, structure has been written where I have to, to just written HTML in the app which is uh, actually declaring that this is a uh, program based on uh, written on AngularJS framework and for the framework I need the uh, API which is angular.js or you can uh, I'm, I've used here angular.min.js which is a compressed version of angular.js and if you want a readable format you can use angular.js and if you just want the API to use in your program you can use angular.min.js so the URL you can see you can just follow this URL if you don't know you can download it and use a local angular.js file or you can directly use from the URL which I have done here so as you can see uh, if I want to build this interface I need this level that is order by and another level that is order in and for uh, the radio button I need one ascending and one descending I just create the level first in my body and uh, another thing is I need some initial data and this data I have already copied and I'll paste here. I'll use the ng init uh, directive which is actually initialized it. I just remember one thing, I'm not writing any script. There is no script, there is not, no external script, no inbuilt script. I'll just use the ng directive and go through this program with that. So this is my ng init and initialize the data, the data is in JSON format. And there are three fields you can see as I told you, the name, the country and age and just continue, We're first creating the label. So first I will create the three labels, first, first one is order by, just copy this and paste this, the, fourth one. the second one is order in, third one is ascending, spelling mistake and this layer last one is descending I hope there is no mistake spelling and in the order by as you can see here there is a combo box combo list which consists of three elements so I'll just use a select tag and this select tag there will be a name which is order by key. I'll just copy this and paste it here and also use it as ng model. 
Uh, I'll come later on why I'm using this ng model here. Uh, let us go write the sorry, write the options which will be actually hold the value of the combo list. So first one is value will be name. This is also name display. One is display, one is value. When you select the value, it will take the value which is holding the value and what it is not it is not just like what you see is not more, always what you get okay so it is that uh, here it is what you see what you get so this is what you get and this is what you see i will hope you are uh, accustomed with the basic html and this is age uh, come up with the age and now my options is complete and the next one is i'll come up with order in. So for this I will create two radio button, input type radio and name will be order in and of course an ng model which is order in. Okay, so let's close this and just copy paste and all everything is same. Now one thing, which one I will just keep the by default I will keep checked. Obviously the first one will be checked. Okay, so here what will I do? I will put the value as reverse. Okay, so what it does when you put a value equal to reverse here, it just It just uh, what happens if you write reverse here so it becomes actually false and the first one is by default selected okay now what you can do you can also put one you can also put false here okay so if you do this just a minute I just have to paste it here and just put it in the wrong place so when you put false here the same thing happens okay so now what you do if we just put the value of false here so the opposite will happen i reloaded and the descending is selected okay so just uh, i'll just do Keep it as it is, reverse. Okay, so uh, just put it in a proper order so that it is understandable. Okay, just checking. Yeah, now it is there. Yeah, it's ascending is selected, and we have those three elements here. Now we will try just build the list element. I'll just show you the two method. One, I'll first is the with the list element and then I'll show you it is not table data. So for the list element you will close the and here li okay and this li and this ng repeat this ng repeat and the data I'll use the variable data in uh, what is the name of the array it is my data you can see here in this ng it is my data so my data now see I'll just pipe and this is the, now the expression the first actual expression for the uh, sorting is order by so order by order by what you can put the constants here name you can put country you can put age but I will not use this I will use the variable so it's, it which has created a scope variable which is ordered by key. Now you understand why I have used taken this ng model here. If you remove this ng model, you will not be able to perform this task. Okay. This order by is performed whenever you select this with this ng model automatically the data is dynamically checked, which is actually the actually the advantage of using Angular JS. Okay. So it is dynamically changed. The page is not reloaded. The page is 
that single page view application whenever you change any data all the respective data which is related to this ng model is affected okay so this is affected order by key value is changed here when you select name it becomes order by colon name when you select age it will become order by colon age when you select country it becomes order by colon country now the boolean section and what is the boolean section you see the second ng model that is order in so order in okay so i'm done with the li uh there's some problem okay i'm not close the code double code yes now it is closed okay so now see what happens whenever when you select the first radio button okay the ascending one so it becomes true and the value of order in becomes true so it becomes order with key colon true so when it becomes true it's obviously in ascending order but when you select the second option second radio button so the first one becomes false the second one becomes true and obviously that the value of order in becomes false okay the value of order in becomes false because <coughs> this is true and this is false okay so when it becomes false i'm not going to explain why the We'll go into the depth of the radio button. That's a part of the estimate section. So here it becomes false. So when it becomes false, so it is sorted, but in false order, that is descending order. So when the second radio button is selected, it becomes false. And when it is false, it goes. It is sorted in descending order. So let us move to the browser and reload the page. I think there's some problem. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just to put the data in the list. Okay, so I have to put the uh, Angular data. Okay, so first one is so I'm using uh, storing the data in the, if you do consider inside a loop for data in my data. So data will hold hold out the field name. So first one is name. Give a separator. Second one is I'll just copy paste and change it to country, and the third one is change to age. Okay, here it come. Now it is there. Now select the name. Okay, I'm sorry. Select the name. And ascending, descending, ascending, descending. The, then come to the country. Ascending, descending. Then come to the age, ascending and descending. So here it is now. Now I'm done with this. Now you understand it is order by then order by the value of order by I mean order by what? What by the field? Then here it is name. And the second is order in. That is whether it is true or false. If it is true, then it is in ascending order. If it is false, then it is descending order. Now I'll just remove this and put a table here. In the table, table tag. Now you have what table header. Sorry, table row. Under this table header, it is name. Table header. So country again table header it is each okay so now close the table tr again open the tr now what will I do I just cut it from here I've not deleted this because I need it I put it in the tr okay. And inside this, I will just do the TD and just went on. Instead of hyphen, I just put TD and put it in TD. TD 
put it in and use this no we don't want to delete this td so close that here table is closed now here we come okay we are just give a table border equal to one pixel okay now here it is so name ascending descending ascending and descending ascending descending ascending okay and descending so the this is so this is how we can uh, populate data in a table or in a list and sort them in order using any type of okay you can just this is a sort of very uh, small data you can use uh, suppose you use some database use ajax and retrieve data from some database in json format and just load the data and there should be can be numerous number of fields okay load those fields in a combo box and select any of the field and the data will be sorted and it will take the minimum amount of time minimum amount of time is that it's so saving of time because the page will not be reloaded the page will be <coughs> it's a single view application